What's up, knife people? Back again with more of these knives. Start you off with a quick look at this Best Tech Texel collaboration with Adam Purvis Designs. D2 Stone Black Stone Wash Jade Scales. It's awesome EDC, great size, awesome action, and uh, budget price. So uh, just thought I'd show you. And on that note, we'll get into uh, today's video, which of course will be another unboxing. And that's it. So let's get the show on the road. I'll probably make a couple comments in between. And that's it. Let me know what you guys think after. So thank you everybody that watched the video last week and, you know, kind of uh, uh, commented, or gave their stories on tactical and tactical. And, uh, you know, it was kind of just a conversation starter. So I hope everybody had fun with it. It was pretty much just a, you know, conversation starter. But anyways, this is what we got. This is a White Mountain Knives package. Um, real quick comment, uh, really suggest and really like uh, the way they get knives out quick to you. So Justin, you're doing an awesome job. Uh, best value in, in the business right now, I think, is if you can find a knife from White Mountain Knives, um, you know, 10% discount, use the codes from the channels, and uh, best best deal in the house, in the game right now. So, shout out again to White Mountain Knives. And I should have put a V, my bad, I just noticed that. So anyways, here we go. Best Tech Texel. I think that's it. Got some here. So yeah, thank you, White Mountain Knives, for getting it out pretty quick. So put this down for here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. So here we go. Get rid of this popcorn. Nice. And so we have a another best tech. Ooh, nice stickers too. Look, check that out. White Mountain Knives. Don't get those very often. Sweet. Check this out. Kaiser EDC Knives. Awesome. Thanks for the stickers. So, put that there. Get rid of that. And go check out, of course, White Mountain Knives. Let me put them on blast here. They deserve it. There we go. Bam. Perfect. Okay, so... Let's get into it. So this is a best tech I got. Um, it is called the Syntax 14C28N, stonewashed and satin. So let's see what we got here. Stonewashed satin. This is a collaboration knife, which is one reason I do like best tech. Uh, they tend to do a lot of collaborations with other designers and they don't get very repetitive on their designs like some other budget companies. As you can see, this one is a collaboration between, I think it's Todd Knife and Tool. And so you get, you know, a designer's flavor uh, in the design for a budget price for those that uh, can't afford sometimes the regular customs or just higher production knives But anyways, this is an awesome design. I saw it on the Site a little while ago. This is black micarta As you can see feels pretty good You can tell grabs the oils pretty good. I put lotion on my hands too. So that does that helps out a little But yeah very nice design. You got some little milling marks in there. Very cool uh, pivot there with the logo. You got a you know inset for the clip, flipper, nice deep clip with perfect flush mounted screws and sunk in. Double thumbs up for that. So very, very nice. Good execution. Same three dots in the back. Nice and centered. Pretty thick blade. 
and we'll check it out in a little bit. Let's give it the first flip. Bam, check that out. Give that one more shot. That was pretty nice. Nice and stiff. Detent, boom. Very nice. Bam, nice, 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 nice. So we have here a kind of like curved tonto tip. So you probably get some nice cutting with that rounded edge. Nice neutral handle, of course. A little contouring here for grip. Overall, just a nice looking knife. Kind of has the same flavor as that Best Tech. But in this micarta, it looks really nice. It also came in like an orange G10. I think a yellow G10 and even a like tan micarta <clears throat> from what I saw. Um, again, not really a choil here, but you do have a space to choke up on it. So you can choke up, very comfortable. A little nice rounded off jimping on the top. Got a little jimping here on the bottom of the flipper. Really locks you in. Very, very nice feel. You can see that curve there, kind of goes I have nice drag cuts. Very, very nice. Check out this uh, liner lock. Very interesting here. I, I saw that. It has nice cutouts to get into the into this lock. Of course, on bearings. I need a little oil here. But you can hear the snap. It's pretty much fall shutty. Kind of wiggly, wiggle shut. So, it's a nice blade. Very utilitarian. Again, you got some actual knife steel, the 14C28N. So it'll get nice and sharp. Just neutral, very, very nice. First time I've had my hands, I've always wanted a Roxy. Or yeah, Roxy, Roxy 2, and finally got myself on this one here, which I liked a little better. The Roxy seem to be very clunky, but this is nice and thin. And actually, let's do the sharpness test, of course. See how it comes out. Out of box from the dealer. Here we go. And of course, that's the Best Tech logo there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. All the way through. Cool. And that's it. So there we go. Nice clean cuts. You guys saw how sharp that was. So, very nice out of box. Good job on Best Tech for that. So there we go. Nice manufacturing. Again, really like the collaborations they do. Again, that was Adam Purvis design and uh, Todd Knife and Tool. So let's put it down here for a second. See how it looks on its own. Give a quick look at it. My hands out of the way. Very nice satin blade there, stone washed or satin stone wash. Nice micarta. Very sweet. Nine minutes in, let's give it some measurements. Very nice. Really liking this knife. So here what we're looking at, uh, about a three inch blade, cutting about two and a half, handle grip, a little under four inches. All together, you're looking just under seven inches total. About six and three quarters. So very, very EDC friendly. Obviously uh, EDC, <clears throat> very EDC, uh, sh good shape for cutting. It's so very nice. Really happy with it actually. Again, shake shut. Easy to get to that liner, unlock it. 
Very nice. And again, really bonus on that clip too. Let's get the weight. <clears throat> and again, I'll, I'll touch on right now what I meant about knives that are just kind of playing themselves out with styles. Um, here we go, 2.9 ounces. So very, very uh, good weight there. Again, nice and hefty. Doesn't feel uh, weak at all. You can see the full liners, of course. See, is there any milling in there? Yeah, so milled out liners on both sides. So very well done, very well executed. But um, so yeah, so my thing is that a lot of knife companies or certain knife companies are just being very repetitive on styles and uh, almost, you know, kind of losing interest or hit that knife wall where, uh, you know, they're just nothing new coming out, no new styles, no nothing. So collaborations are really uh, what interests me when it comes to budget knives at this point. Um, so here we go. Let's check it out with the best tech side by side dun, dun, dun. with another best. I'm gonna get a little close up again with that. Yeah, one of my favorites. Again, this is another best tech. This is the first best tech I ever got. This is the best tech pebble. Again, really, uh, I really like this. Uh, um, the way they kind of rounded that that liner lock here it's really easy to un disengage very comfortable and easy on the fingers so best tech that's a plus right there so this is the best tech pebble this came out a few years ago vg10 and g10 two-tone so yeah and these are pretty much my best techs that I have that are budget, which again, budget is not a bad thing. Um, it's actually a good thing when, uh, um, again, when you can afford, you know, when you can finally afford to get uh, a different knife maker's uh, designs. Same thing with that, Adam Purvis. So I'm gonna show you a couple more comparisons. So you guys, Kind of get a feel for the knife, at least for size, which is what my issue always was. Now let me do this also. I forgot since I had this out here. Check out the blade stock thickness. Right here, it's about 0.11. The tip will come down to 0.3 of an inch. So you do have a nice flat grind, which will get you, doesn't get too thick. So it's still nice and sturdy. Got a, about a half inch there in thickness, which carries through all the way to the back pretty much. So a little off there, but yeah. So that's pretty much the, see if you want to check it out this way, 0.8. So that's it. Let's go back to the comparisons. And this is kind of what I mean here. So we got the Wii Sakshi and this nice, uh, I think it's Kruborsha wood. If I'm saying that right. Black stone washed, full flat. Very, very nice knife. But then again, you have, again, a collaboration but again, you get the same type of just repetitive blade shape. I mean, you do have different blade scale, I mean, different scales, but you kind of get what I'm talking about. A lot of repetition, which kind of, to me is a little untasteful. Just all the monotony with the, with the designs. Here we go. So hopefully that might change. And yes, I mean, Civivi, we even like Concept does it a lot, I've noticed. Yeah. So let me know what you guys think about that. If you 
got my catch my drift so that's the only thing i hate about some of these chinese made knives they just here we go again this is elementum savivi tanto tip i'm obviously still buying them so it doesn't matter but at some point it does get a little a little tiresome and here we go here's the other one kind of see what i'm talking about there when you just change the tip of a knife and you know, you can manufacture a bunch of new ones. So VV Elementum original, but this is the S35VN from Blade HQ, which is a little thinner behind that. Right here, let me show you. It's like a hair thinner. So you get a little bit more sliciness out of it. I think they even made this one in Tonto. This one, they released it in Tonto as well. So, of course they would. Here you go. Really like the contrast in that color too, the satin blade. Really pops. Kind of gives that little futuristic design. So, I'll put this away here. So, if you kind of notice what I'm trying to do here. <clears throat> Again, this is a We Made collaboration with Ferrum Forge, Mini Archbishop, the thumbhole opening, nice little fifth pocket carry, got a nice forward choil there, even though it's a small knife, you can get four fingers on it. So it's a Mini Archbishop in OD green and apocalyptic finish. And here goes another one, this is the Odium. JG10 Black Stone Wash from Civivi, Fair and Forge Design also, collaboration. And I did change the pocket clip on that, if you noticed, from the Wii Banter, the Civivi Banter. There you go. Kind of see what I'm talking about here. Just all the Monotony and designs to me just gets a little, a little tiresome, I guess. I already said that. So, yeah, a lot smaller knife, probably about six and a half inches. But cool little design. Just wish they would switch things up a little bit. They kind of been doing that with button locks and thumb studs lately, too. Uh, what else here? And of course, uh, the last comparisons is with the OGs OGs of EDC, the pair of three, in my opinion. And I'll put that on the bottom. And my bug out with the flitanium scales. S30V, flitanium, micarta. So these are my three. My Carta EDC knives right now that I think are probably on top of my list. Really like that. The new one, the best hat. Fits in perfect right there. Sweet. So, again, uh, for those of you that got my drift a little bit, let me know what you think in the comments about all the repetition with some of these knife companies. Uh, is it getting old? Is it not? And, um, you know, does it make you not want to buy knives sometimes? For me, it does. So, uh, like I said, maybe I might just be hitting that knife wall where, uh, you know, I got to be more specific in what I buy. So, again, shout out to White Mountain Knives for getting things out quick. Go check out some Best Tech Knives. Carry your own knives. And as always, you guys know where to find me. Check out these knives that we are and check back for more knife content. As always, have a good one. Be safe out there and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.